Hello oh, and welcome to my second video in my development log where I am logging the development of my programming skills, thus the appropriate name of development log 2. And in this video I'm going to briefly ca uh, recap. I'm not going to recap anything. I'm going to briefly give an overview of what I've done uh, with one of the programs that I've been writing. In the last video I mentioned and showed a little bit about a text adventure based off of a TV show that I really like called Avatar Last, Air Last Airbender and I've made a lot of progress on that and I just wanted to kind of go through and show some of the major features uh, or major things that I've added and things that I've learned. And so uh, as we can see this game is very simple but it's made up of a lot of methods and a uh, couple constructors to make the user object as well as the enemy objects in the game and instead of talking about it maybe I'll just quickly show you what happens when I run said program so it gives a little intro and it gives me two options and I in the last video it blew up if I typed anything but the options and numbers but this time it appropriately tells me to try again until I get it right so I accept, and this time, all right, it chooses. I get to choose my bending. Let's see, I choose water. Cool. You are a waterbender. Your life points are da da da. Your power is da da da, and your village is being attacked by the Fire Nation. An enemy is approaching. So I have it. So after you choose the bending you you want, it randomly generates. Well, it generates an enemy object with the name of soldier, given a random health in between two integers, and this one is. Has 64 health, and now I can do nothing or attack. Doing nothing will just end the game because I have not programmed anything yet, so I don't really care about that right now. Um, I dealt 41 damage, cool, and then he dealt one damage to me, and then it prints out the remaining health. And I do this, I attack again, cool. I successfully defeated one enemy because I dealt 45 damage. And let's see, this guy's got 88 health. Let's see if I can kill him. I did 32 damage, and he's got 56 health left. Sweet, he's got 6 health left. I killed him. So I have it so that after I kill 2 enemies, I gain a 10% power, power bonus, which obviously means I do 10% more damage, and my total power, total power bonus is 10. And then it keeps producing enemies until I actually kill um, 5 of them, or until I'm dead, which it looks like I will die before then. So I can easily spam one. Oh, hey, look. So by spamming one, I now ended up with one health, and I defeated five. And then it terminates the program. So that's pretty simple. Um, one of the things I just wanted to briefly say, because I'm kind of proud about, is the method that I use to automate the printing out of lists. So every list of options that you saw when it asked me to attack or asked me what bending I wanted, it was automated. I made a method so I just gave it the options in a string form that I wanted and it printed it out with the number next to it. Now that's really impressive to me because I before did not know about this here, variable length argument in uh, for the methods which made it a lot easier before I had no idea how to do it because I knew that there were going to be multiple lists in my game that were going to be of variable lengths. Anyway, I'm pleased that it turned out to be very simple and I am happy with the progress I'm making and basically that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.